Speaking of the crepes, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, Redmond Pride is happening on Saturday, September 2nd, and there is a diverse range of vendors, artists, performers, and businesses, and this year, Woodblock in Redmond is taking part by offering a special crepe dish for brunch. And we're getting a sneak peek from their chef, Heather Hiltel from Woodblock. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So, okay, I love a crepe, but I gotta say, they're, they're not easy sometimes. No, between making the batter right, getting the filling ready, yeah. uh, and getting your pan nicely warmed up. That's key. Which looks like we got a little smoke coming off. Ooh, so we gotta turn that puppy down. You know, my mom always used to say, it's okay, the first crepe is a throwaway. Is that true? Uh, for the most part. Yeah. Maybe even the second or third, depending <laughs> on where you're at. That's when the chef eats. <laughs> yeah. When I mean, the crepes, keep, yes. We gotta keep ourselves I, I hear that. No, I never, yes, absolutely. Okay, so. I love that you're using blackberries in this. Is there anything people should keep in mind? Because we have a lot of blackberry bushes behind our house. As do I. So as, yeah, as I mean. a lot of people, anything should keep in mind when we're picking our own? Um, mostly that you give them a nice well enough wash. Okay. I usually do a water vinegar bath for them. Oh. Let them soak for a few minutes, All right. five to 10 minutes. Gets any bugs out, yeah. gets anything. Give them a nice rinse after the vinegar bath. Yes. You're usually pretty good. That's good. Okay, so how do we get started making a crip? A All crepe. right, so the batter itself, I usually tend to make in the blender. Mm -hmm. um, instead of whisking it, gets everything uniformly done. That's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah, it's a pretty basic, um, think of it like a thin pancake batter. Okay. It's flour, egg, uh, this one in particular has cardamom. Ooh, cardamom. Um, so mm. think of cardamom, it's the main flavor of like Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. Cardamom is the Fruit Loop and Fruity Pebbles yeah. flavor? Yeah. Who knew that? <laughs> this is why I love having chefs here. All right, so how do we get started? Should we start making a crepe? Yeah, so I use a nonstick pan. Okay. Um, I've got it all nice and warmed up. I do have the nonstick spray for it. Yep. Got to do the spray. And it looks like you're using, what is that spray? It's a V. Vegeline. Oh, that's Vegeline. So okay, you good. You can use all right. Pam. All right, I love Pam. Smoke, so it might be a little too warm. If it's too warm, that's okay. We have a, you know, it's, it's never use this stove, so it's that's the hardest, <laughs> you know. And I always feel, you know, you know, you're a good chef when you can make it work with a stove you've never used. So we appreciate you certainly. All right. Um, and this stove gets pretty hot, so um, I'm gonna eat a fruity pebble right now to test this cardamom theory because I have never noticed that before. And you are not just whistling Dixie, okay. So what you do is you just put a little scoop in and you keep. Yeah, so now this is a non-traditional way of making a crepe. There are like special big round slabs that you have like the stick and you do the twirl. When I first moved to Washington, I actually worked in a crepe truck for a couple weeks. I feel like I, I remember <laughs> that crepe. It was, a, it was a food truck that made crepes, right? Yeah. I remember I that truck. I that for a couple weeks and yeah. I was like, I don't know if the food truck life is for me. Um, so I do a nonstick pan. Uh, in this one, I added two ounces of mm -hmm. the crepe batter. Yeah. And then I just swirl it around until it's a nice thin layer. Okay. And this is what I like is because not everyone has a crepe uh, making pan no. or, you know, the whole <laughs> twirling skill. So this is good for us. Yeah, so I mostly let it sit and go until it's it's practically gonna cook 90% of the way on one side. It okay. is gonna get a little bubbly and brown and you'll start seeing it crisp around the edge. And that's what you want. It release. Okay, because I would have thought, oh, I gotta flip it sooner than this, but you wait, you gotta have the patience. Yeah, I like to get a nice little crispy like bottom, get okay. some color on it. I love it. Um, as we're making that cook, tell me more about Woodblock's involvement in, in this wonderful Pride Fest that's happening in Redmond. Yeah, so um, this is their second year, I believe. Um, last year we did, uh, we donated to the organization DAPS, mm -hmm. and we're also gonna be donating to them again this year. Nice. Um, all of the proceeds from the sales of the crepes mm -hmm. um, are going to go directly to DAPS, which is the yeah, Diversity is um, Alliance of Puget Sound. That's amazing. <laughs> all right, so it looks like we're about ready. My chef fingers. Okay. We got clean fingers. Oh, look, at that's beautiful. And then, yeah, I let it cook for about another 30 seconds on the other side. Okay. Um, the raw? Can as you start to fill this up, can I try to make a crib? Absolutely. Okay, look, I'm gonna switch with you when that's ready. We're gonna we're gonna switch a rosies. Um, tell me about Pardon what me. else is at Woodblock that we love to enjoy. Um, so I think we have a great brunch program. Um, we make everything in house. Mm -hmm. um, should I spray the pan again? Yes, absolutely. Every time do you spray Every the time. Pan? Okay. All right. I always make a mess when I do this. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's all, it should be still nice and hot for you. You'll okay, go so with you one did ladle. It. All right, one ladle. Right in the middle, and then start swirling around. Come on, baby, Until come you on, see baby. the batter stop, and then you can put it right back down. I did good! It's beautifully round. You guys, I did so good. Look at that. 
who says I can't make a crepe, huh? <laughs> yes. Um, that is good. Okay, so let that cook. Well, what are we filling this with, by the way? What do you got the goodies here? We talked about blackberries, but what is this thing right there? So, uh, for Pride event, obviously I wanted to use a lot of colors, which yeah. is kind of where mm -hmm. I got the Fruity Pebble idea from. Got it, okay. Now, as far as the filling goes, it is cream cheese and powdered sugar to make it sweet. Um, in order to make all the colors, I like going the natural route, mm -hmm. whether that's fruits or nuts. I didn't want to use like food coloring, which you absolutely could. You could, but, but I definitely I like the, natural, the route. natural route. All right. Um, so this one uh, we've made with fresh raspberries. Ooh. We have fresh blackberries mixed into the cream cheese mixture. Um, okay. I made a pistachio butter for this oh. one. This like one was idea, the, um, I made it actually with blueberry jam. Okay. Right? So there's a lot oh, so of different things you can use. Things a you can compote use. or something Yeah, you can use a made. compote, fresh fruit. This one I made with just caramel. Oh, nice. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can, can use. Can I get up on that, that one? Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, I'm gonna just, can I just jump <laughs> Please in? Please do. So, all right, how do we make, like, so you just, you just, if it's kind of thick like this, you just, you spread it around? Like, yeah, what do so you do? I usually just take a spoon or a spatula and just kind of spread it all the way all throughout. Okay. You definitely want to like let your, um, depending how you're going to fold it. Like I like rolling them up. So I usually kind of just do one big strip down the middle. You can do it Am all I the way around. too much in? No, I don't think you can have too <laughs> much. Especially when you get to lick the fingers. So when you're at the festival, where can we find you? Where can people get crepes? Obviously, it'll be for the breakfast time of this. Uh... Yeah, so it's going to be on Saturday. Uh, we'll be offering it at brunch. Um, I believe on. it'll be, the event starts at 12. Okay. And so we're going to be offering it the whole time. It goes till 5. Uh, so we'll have the crepes available. Uh, we'll have all the flavors available so you can kind of build your own flavors that you enjoy. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it'll give you a nice wide range. All right, I'm going to cut this in half so I get the full crepe experience. And you can tell me if I've done well. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing? You like the pistachio mm -hmm. one? I like it because it's sweet mm. and savory. Oh, how'd I do? Did I put enough in there? Too much? No, not at all. I love it. Mm. Oh my gosh, this was great. Well, Heather was kind enough to share her recipe for crepes full of pride. Um, just text the word recipe to 206-448-4545. We'll send a link straight to your phone. You can make this mm. and then go to the festival and try it. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely.